Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting and very important because we are going to learn relation between angles when you have two parallel lines and a transversal. This is very important concept used in geometry. Let us start with this concept and let us suppose you are having these two parallel lines. Okay, these two lines are parallel. What are parallel lines? which never meet each other when extended on both sides. And let's suppose this line name is L and this line name is M. And this is a transversal, N. Transversal is a line which is intersecting two other lines, right? So N is intersecting L and M both. That is why N is a transversal. Now, how many angles are formed here? I am giving angle names, angle 1, 2, 3, 4, same at bottom 5, 6, 7 and 8. In spite of giving big names, I am giving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Total 8 angles are formed and we are going to learn different relations between these angles which are going to be very helpful. Very first relation which usually you might have studied in different types of diagrams angle name is vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles if you know what are vertically opposite angles you can also let us know write it in the comment box and please check it very carefully vertically opposite angles are Whenever two lines are intersecting, crossing each other, first of all, check the situation. I am having, where is the intersection happening? Check this. Lines are intersecting each other at this point, right? So, vertically opposite angles will be like 1 and 3. These are opposite to each other. These 1 and 3, they are opposite to each other. And they are known as vertically opposite angles. And second thing to add, vertically opposite angles are always equal. That means angle 1 and angle 3 will be equal always. Same is the rule for 2 and 4. Angle 2 and angle 4, they will be equal because they are vertically opposite angles. Now, whatever is happening at top, same is happening at bottom. 5 and 7 are equal, right? And 6 and 8. You can take screenshot. You can check it carefully. Because positioning and understanding which positions I am talking about, these two, 5 and 7, they are opposite to each other. And they will always be equal in case of <coughs> whenever lines are intersecting. I hope this is clear. So, keep on writing also. Vertically opposite angles. Now, second point which we are going to identify from this diagram, those angles are known as linear pair angles. Which angles I am writing here? Linear pair angles. See, linear means straight line. Pair means two angles. Yeah, that means two angles on a straight line. Right? So, this is a straight line. This is a straight line L. Two angles on a straight line are 1 and 2. 1 and 2. These two are the angles which are formed on a straight line. And do remember, some of the angles which are linear pair, it is always equal to 180 degrees. Because straight angle is 180 degree. 1 and 2 together they are forming a straight angle. Obviously they are going to be 180 degree. So this 1 and 2 check 3 and 4. Same is the relation for angle 3 and angle 4. Their sum is 180. 5 and 6. 7 and 8. Let me write it also. 5 and 6. Their sum is 180 and 
7 and 8, their sum is 180. Now you tell me, what do you think? These are the only linear pair angles here or something else is left? Tell me first of all yes or no, if there is any other angle or not. If you think some other angle pair is also forming linear pair here, try to find that those angles. I am cleaning them, making the space to write the others. First of all, let me tell you, yes, there are few more angles which are forming the same kind of pair. Because if you see N is also a line, right? Sorry, it is removed. N is also a line, right? This one, this N. So, why not 1 and 4? 1 and 4 is also coming on N line. That means 1 and 4, they also form linear pair angles. And in the right side of it, 2 and 3, they also form same linear pair angles. But this is not the end. Same head at the bottom, 5 and 8. 5 and 8. Their sum is 180 degree, 6 and 7. Their sum is also 180 degree. That means total 8 pairs are there. How many pairs? 8 pairs are there which are forming linear pair angles. So, as of now, two types we have covered. Vertically opposite angles, then linear pair angles. But these are the types which we had already covered. We were just finding these types in special case of parallel lines and transversal. But out of these eight angles, first of all, there are few interior angles, there are few exterior angles. Let me tell you interior, I mean 3, 4, 5 and 6. They are coming between parallel lines. That is why they are interior. And exterior angles are 1, 2, 7 and 8 which are coming outside the parallel lines. I hope you are clear with that. Now next point comes alternate alternate interior angles. How I remember it? See first of all we are talking about interior angles. That means 1, 2, 7 and 8 they are not in the picture. Right? We are going to deal with interior angles only. Alternate. Alternate means one from left side, one from right side. Now somebody would say, sir, can 5 and 6 be alternate? I would say no. 5 and 6 you have already used. They are linear pair angles, right? We cannot repeat the angles. It is already done. Now what, which one is left then? Left side 4 and right side 6. From the interiors. If left side is 4, then right side is 6. They are known as alternate interior angles and here they are always going to be equal. Same with this 3 and 5, they will be equal to each other. This is the relation of alternate interior angles. So as of now, vertically opposite angle is done, linear pair angles is done and alternate interior angles is done. Other than alternate interior, there is one concept of alternate exterior as well. I am just writing it here. Alternate exterior angles. Now same is the rule. Now interior angles are not in the picture. We have to talk about exterior angles. That means 1 and 7. 1 from left, 1 from right and both should be exterior. So 1 is equal to 7. And 2 is equal to 8, they form alternate exterior angles. Vertically opposite angle, linear pair angle, alternate interior, alternate exterior. We need to remember these all names as well. Next, we are going to talk about corresponding angles. Angle names are corresponding angles. See, learning these relations are very important to do the geometry even. In most of the chapters, most of the topics, these are going to be used. Corresponding angles, how I remember? Both above the parallel lines and on the same side. Both angles 
above the parallel lines and are on the same side either left or right but not only above it may be below also i'll explain check this one this angle 1 and angle 5 angle 1 and 5 they both are above the parallel lines and on the left side also they are equal and they are known as corresponding angles not only left side right side angles 2 and 6 you can see they are corresponding angles as i said above same is the case for below that means 4 is below that 8 is also below so 4 and 8 they also form corresponding angles and here 3 and 7 angle 3 and angle 7 also forms corresponding angles and at the end last these are the most important relations which we are doing and last is consecutive interior angles what is that consecutive interior angles sometimes in short it is written somewhere you would see co interior angles but actual full form is consecutive interior angles see they are interior that means you are going to deal with 3 4 5 and 6 consecutive means next to each other adjoining to each other so here we are going to talk about 4 and 5 angle 4 plus 5 their sum will be 180 degree always in case of parallel lines do remember and this 3 and 6 their sum will also be 180 degree it is actually told like ang interior angles on the same side of a transversal are supplementary they are known as consecutive interior angles so there are multiple relations we have studied today vertically opposite angles linear pair angles alternate interior angles alternate exterior angles corresponding angles and consecutive interior angles these relations are very important please watch this video once twice or thrice make proper notes try writing it yourself also and believe me if you have learned it geometry will become very easy for you thank you so much for watching the video